Hello and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day, or rather What I Eat in a Week from Adok. I wanted to do this vlog because I really wanted to show how amazing the food is in Adok, how amazing a lot of the things are here, because obviously all that we really hear from world news most of the time is the bad stuff that's going on. So I'm not really sure how this video is going to play out. I know it's going to be lots of little clips throughout the week, things that we cook, things that we ate, and so on and so forth, um, probably with a bunch of voiceovers to explain what the hell's going on, or or, you know, I'll write stuff on top of the screen. So this was my first meal in Iraq. It was lunch. We had dolma, which is meat and rice stuffed vegetables. In this case, it was eggplant and qima. And this was actually camel's meat, which is very different. This was also the first dinner that we had, so that's everything laid out on the table. We had some moon, which is a rocky flatbed, some homemade pickles that my aunt had made, and veal kebabs and chicken shawarma. It was delicious. One of the things that I do very often when I travel is pack my granola with me so I can have it for breakfast. Actually, I was there during Ashura, so there was a lot of stuff going on in the streets, a lot of free food. Um, and for instance, there was this tea that was made on live coals and wood that was given out for free to visitors. The shrines are actually absolutely gorgeous as well, and because not a lot of non-Shia visit them, I thought I'd share them here so that you guys could see. The areas surrounding the shrines always have street markets because it's where a lot of people go, so we would always shop there for snacks and stuff in particular. That's another um, entrance to the shrine. And during Ashura, there are these massive cooking pots on the street to hand out free food, and they're just enormous. So I'm cooking with my family. This is basically food that they hand out every year during Maharam. And this, and that, and this over here is 33 kilos of um of sugar which they're going to mix with all of this rice which is about 11 kilos of rice to make something called zarda which oh my god i'll show you when it's done and that's about half a kilo of oil that's also going to go in there and there's some cardamom in there this doesn't look like much but it's actually saffron that's just been stewing and that's going to go in there as well and then finally there's about, I don't even know how much this is, but it's slivers of almonds. If you've ever been curious what um, 11 kilos of rice looks like in a pot, it looks like this. And you basically use a shovel to, <laughs> to move it around. We've now put in all of the sugar. For reference, that's me stirring the pot, and that's when we added the saffron, followed very closely by adding the almonds, mixing it all in there, and then just sort of letting it sit for a little while. When they're all done, they're also put, like, cinnamon is put on top, um, in, like, different patterns and designs and, like, different names, and all of these are just setting, basically, before they're all handed out to people. This is one of my absolute favorite breakfasts in Iraq, which is fresh cream and honey. Obviously not that healthy, but absolutely delicious. Because of the river al Farat, known in English as Euphrates, there's a lot of freshwater fish in Najaf, and we tend to have that grilled for lunch. Lunch here was some uh, spinach curry with some baked chicken and, as always, completely delicious with a salad on the side. Followed by a cheeky pizza for dinner when we had more family around. My aunt made this dough fresh and then we stuffed it with mozzarella and cream cheese and then baked it for a little while. Really lovely. And this was the stuffing for arayas, which was basically just peppers and uh, tomatoes and meat. And then we had that with an eggplant curry that was left over and some rice. Just uh, making some sakshuka actually for my family. So it's going to be a whole big thing. I will show you how many, I think I'm going to crack like eight or ten eggs. So I'm making all of the mixture in here and then I'm just about to split it into two pans. 
so that it can uh, start cooking. So we had my shakshuka with some Iraqi samoon and they absolutely loved it because it's very different to what they're used to. We also had some kak as a snack which is a hard biscuit and we normally dip it in some milk or tea. I wanted to point out that some of this street cooking is actually all by neighbours. These are like ordinary people that do this and then hand it all out to people just like my family did the zarda for free during Ashura. And then far too soon I was having my final cream and honey breakfast and got on the plane. Emergency exits are clearly marked and are now being indicated by your crew. It's always really, really hard for me to leave my family in Iraq, but I'm sure I'll be back soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed this edition of What I Eat in a Week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.